Over the course of an individual's lifetime, the vitreous inside of the eye shrinks. As it continues to shrink, a portion of retinal tissue may stay attached to the vitreous, leading to a retinal tear. If a tear forms in the retina, you may notice slight changes in your vision, such as flashes or floaters. Retinal tears can lead to severe damage to your vision. A retinal detachment occurs when the retina's layers separate. Any portion of the retina that is detached cannot send visual signals to the brain. If left untreated, retinal detachment can cause devastating damage to an individual's vision. Retinal detachment is considered an ocular emergency that requires immediate medical attention. A vitrectomy is a procedure that treats disorders of the retina and vitreous. Vitrectomy refers to the removal of the vitreous, the clear, gel-like substance that fills the center of the eye. An eye care professional may recommend vitrectomy surgery to treat eye problems such as retinal detachments. Before the procedure begins, local anesthesia and a mild sedative are administered for comfort and to keep the eye from moving. During the procedure, the surgeon inserts microsurgical instruments through tiny incisions made in the sclera, commonly known as the white of the eye. As the vitreous is removed, it is replaced with clear fluid, filtered air, gas bubble, or silicone oil. The fluid or gas is absorbed into the body over time and replaced by your natural eye fluid. If silicone oil is used, it does not reabsorb and is commonly removed in a few months following the procedure. Vitrectomy surgery is often performed in conjunction with other procedures, such as retinal detachment repair. If a detachment occurs in the retina, treatment may begin soon after the exam. Pneumatic retinopexy is a procedure that pushes a detached retina back into place by injecting a gas bubble into the vitreous. As the bubble rises, it presses the retina back into place. The bubble is usually absorbed into the eye within one to three weeks. This procedure can be used only for certain types of detachments. Scleral buckling is the most common surgical procedure for repairing retinal detachments. During this procedure, a tiny band is attached to the outside of the eye. This band creates a minor indentation that pushes the choroid and retina back together. The belt remains around the eye, but does not cause pain and cannot be seen. Recovery of vision may take several months and may never recover to pre-detachment levels.